Hi everyone, it's Ashley and today I am finally bringing you my May TBR. So this TBR video is going to include books that I want to read in May in general, but it's also going to include books that I plan on reading during the year which is actually presently happening right now as I'm filming this video. I am completely late in like announcing my participation in the year because I kind of didn't know I was going to be participating until like five minutes before midnight on the day of the year -thon. So yeah! So basically what the year is, if you don't know what it is, it's just a monthly read-along, read-a-thon rather, not read-along, that is hosted by, oh my goodness, someone that I don't remember, but I will link their name down below. I will also link the Goodreads page for the year down below so you can find out what all the monthly themes are. This month's theme is starting and or catching up on a series. So I have books in my TBR that are specific to that, and yeah basically it, I guess. Oh, the year takes place from May 5th, which was yesterday, until May 11th, which is Saturday, and then right after the year ends is Bout of Books, and I'm planning on reading so much in the next two weeks, it's crazy, like it's actually really daunting, but anyways, let's move on to my TBR. <laughs> so seeing as it is the 6th of May, I've actually already finished my first book on my May TBR, but I will show you anyways, and that is Unspoken by Sarah Rees Brennan. And this is also part of my year TBR. I finished this book yesterday during the first day of the year -thon. I had about 100 pages left to go in this that I read yesterday for the year and just... Oh my god, I will talk more about this in a full-fledged review and discussion, because this book deserves a full-fledged review and discussion but it's so good. It is very gothic and dark and weird and it just in the best way possible. I had no idea what was happening at all during this book. Again, in the best way possible. But in a general overview, it's about a girl who wants to be a journalist. She's very curious and wants to find out the truth about everything. And she has had an imaginary friend her entire life that she's talked to inside her head. Some people think that she's crazy and some people think she's just a super imaginative person and that's why she has this imaginary friend. She lives in this town called Sori in the Vale that is very weird. It's kind of like one of those old, gothic, mysterious UK towns. And there is a manor in the middle of the town called Aramir Oramir House that is supposed to house the Lindburns. The Lindburns is a, are a family that founded the town and those people, that family of Lindburns, have left for the past 17 years. They haven't been around, no one's known them, and at the beginning of the book the Lindburns come back and all of a sudden she's not sure that that imaginary friend's imaginary anymore. It is so good. I just... it's so much better than I ever thought it was gonna be. I have so many feelings. If you follow me on Twitter, which is at Ashwash if you don't. Um, I have been tweeting about this book nonstop since I started reading it. It's so good. So that was the first book included in my year TBR, which is also in my May TBR. And the second book is Untold by Sarah Rees Brennan. I have not hauled this. I literally just filmed my book haul and just posted it. And I bought this the other day because I just knew I was partway done um, Unspoken and I knew I would want the sequel right away and I was right. I needed it right away because the ending of Unspoken was just ridiculous. Sarah Rees Brennan, what are you doing? Like, just... Oh. So anyways, here is Untold and this is my second book that I'm planning on reading in uh, May. I've already started it and I'm so excited to finish it and this will be part of my year -thon TBR and I hope to finish this this week and in all honesty if I just finished those two books this week I would be happy. My goal is to read a book a week, roughly, so that's really good for me so far. But yes, I'm so excited about this, and oh my god, if stuff doesn't start happening that I want to happen, I'm gonna start freaking out. And then, if I finish those two books this week, I want to read Attack on Titan 1. Random House was so, so nice, and they sent me this last week. I didn't post it in my uh, book haul because I had already filmed my book haul before I received this. But yeah, they sent this to me, and I'm so excited. I've been wanting to read this for so, so long. So yes, I'd like to start this series this week if I can or if I have time to and I've also never read a manga before so I'm really excited about that. The last book that is on my potential year on TBR and again that basically means that if I don't finish this book I'm not going to be unhappy but if I finish all of those for some reason and I have extra time this is what I'm going to move on to and that is Just One Day by Gail Foreman. I want to read Just One Day this month regardless of when I read it. Hopefully this week would be great but if not I will read it at another point during this month. This is just a really awesome contemporary. Um, Gail Foreman's a goddess, so I'm just really excited to read it. I have started this book already and I had to put it down because I just, I wasn't in the mood for contemporary when I started reading this and I ended up reading like a ton of sci-fi fantasy after I like 
read the first 70 pages of this. So I'm going to restart it from the beginning and then finish it because there's a novella coming out this month and I really like like binge reading an entire series. So I'm really excited about this one too. <laughs> now moving on to just books that I want to read in May, period, outside of any kind of readathons. That being said, I might read these books during one of the readathons. It just means that I want to read them in May, regardless of a readathon. And the first book is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. This is a reread for me, and I've honestly been rereading this book for like a month and a half now, because I haven't just like you know, gotten down to just reading it because I know what's going to happen so it's a little bit different but I also know that if I try to read the second book, which I, I don't even own yet, but if I try to read the second book before rereading this I will be completely lost and I know that. So I'm rereading this right now slowly but surely but this is another one that I want to try to finish in May no matter what because I want to read the whole series and I want to read it soon. And next this month I would like to finally read Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. It's not even a big book and I've heard that this is a book that you fly through so I'd really like to finally start reading this this month although I don't own the second and third book and I've heard that you want to like marathon this series and I'm also a person who really likes marathoning series in general so I might have to pick up the second two books at some point I don't know but yes I want to read this book this month no matter what because I really want to find out what happens and why Warner is such a big deal to everybody and like who are all these characters that everyone keeps talking about and loving so much that I don't have any idea who they are I think I'm going overboard with my TBR, <laughs> but anyways, I also want to read The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. This looks like a really cute contemporary read that I could probably read in just a few days, and I really am in the mood lately for those cute contemporary reads that you read really quickly, and I just, I really like the concept of this one and how it takes place in multiple different places all over the world, and I just, yeah, I'm excited about it. Also, Jennifer E. Smith's writing is awesome, and I love her, so yeah, I'm really excited to read this one, and I think this would be a really good one to read during Bout of Books, because I could probably read it really quickly. And lastly, there's one other book that I want to read this month, and honestly, I feel like I'm going to receive this book before Friday, so I might dwindle down my Eurathon TBR, because I'm going to literally read it the second I get my hands on it, and that is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Random House was so generous and messaged me the other day saying that they were sending me this book. They didn't even ask me if I wanted it, they just said, we're sending this to you. And I legitimately freaked out. Again, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know this because I was tweeting about my freaking out. And they sent, they said that they sent it on Friday of last week, which means that I could actually possibly have it tomorrow. Yeah, I'm like actually, <laughs> I'm like, like I feel like I'm physically shaking right now because I'm so excited about the prospect of having this book. So yes, the minute I get that book, I'm going to be reading it like right away. So that is a definite May TBR book. And even if I wasn't receiving it from Random House early, I would be reading it the second it came out. So just yes. And also look forward to a review for it because I will definitely be posting a full review for We Were Liars. But again, I don't have a physical copy to show you guys. Sorry. So one last thing, I'm just letting you guys know that I will be posting a video very shortly about my participating participation in Bout of Books. Um, it is the Bout of Books 10.0 readathon. I will link it in the description box below with the Eurathon link, um, but I will do a completely separate TBR video for Bout of Books where I tell you all the books that I really want to read during the Bout of Books readathon. I think I've gotten myself in way too deep, guys. <laughs> if you are planning on reading any of these books or if you have already read any of these books, please comment down below and let me know what you thought of them. Or if you're not planning on reading any of these books, what are you planning on reading in the month of May? I really want to know. And that's pretty much it. So until next time, if you want to see any specific reviews from any of these books, let me know. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Happy reading. Bye!